Hi guys. In the last video, we now saw what a variable in C is, how to declare it, how to instantiate it, and how to change its value. And in this case, the variable is an int or an integer. And there are a lot of options to integers and you know possibilities, but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna like shield you from that right now. Another type of um, of uh, a variable or number it would be um, float, but let's let's keep it simple first of all because you know getting the different types of variables you know I can I can give you a link then in some video and then you can just look it up and use them that's no big deal. Anyways, um, let's 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 proceed now. Uh, what I would like here in this video to show you how to get user input because right now this program is is working nicely, but. Um, I, uh, you know, the programmer has to input the age, not the user. The user is unable to, you know, um, uh, input the age. If, if you give abc.exe to anybody, they, they're just going to get the same output. So that's not very interesting. How do I get user input? Well, um, we need a variable which will contain this user input. Well, we got one here. So instead of setting the age ourselves, we let the user set that. And the way to get user input, or one of the ways to get user input, is using the, the function scanf. Now, scanf is, belongs to the same library or header like print, and that's why we don't need to include anything else. That also belongs to standard I.O., uh, standard input-output header. So what we have here is, uh, we said hi there, so we now say uh, print. I'm going to just put the mouse on this side. Uh, print. And open paran, uh, and then uh, please input your age, and let's keep it like this. And then uh, that's that would be the the, the text that a user sees. Um, and then now we have to create something for the user to be able to input his age, and that's where we come with the function scan. And scan takes two things. Scan is very similar to print. Now look at print. We had a placeholder for the variable. And that's exactly what we do here. We'd have like this uh, percent d because again, user age is an integer, and percent d is the placeholder for an integer. And then, well, we need the um, variable but not exactly the variable what we need is a reference to that variable and references i'm going to explain that in some in in a, in, a, in a video down the line now what i what i just just remember a reference is not a reference to a variable it's not writing the variable but using the ampersand variable that that is a reference to this variable okay and scan so now we have the age we have the age, and oh, I just misspelled scanf, should be scanf. And now, with the, what that means is that this is a placeholder for the variable that we, um, uh, that we have for the user to input his age in. And this is not the variable itself, but a reference to that variable. And so we don't need the second statement because that's like superfluous. So now that print stays the same because now user age is coming from the user or basically the user is setting the value of user age and not us as previously done here. So, and then that print stays and right, let's see. And let's save it. And let's go and compile it again. Uh, GCC minus O, and then let's call it ABC again. And the uh, source is components.c and go. So now it compiles and now I call ABC dot exit and this this kind of application you cannot do with output if i press here and produce an output for that application right it'll print these two lines but i can't input any 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 age in here so you know, it's pretty useless i mean output is pretty interesting for sort of application without any interaction and you know i don't know if any sort of uh, beyond trivial applications which do not demand some kind of user input so for such applications, I never use that. I would say the terminal, or you use another application like um, 
code blocks or, or any other ID. Anyways, uh, let's call abc.exe. And you see now it, it says hide there and then please print your age. And I, let's say uh, 36. And you see now your age is 36. So now it has taken my input and printed it down here. And one thing I notice is that, you know, the 36 is sticking to the, um, to the um, uh, colon. So what I just do is just have a space in here, save that again, and uh, let's compile it again. And now it should be uh, working exactly the way we want it. Uh, A, B, C, oops, A, B, A, B, C, and then components.c and go, just compiling it, and then call abc.exe. And so now it says again, hi there, and now the only difference is now I have a gap here between h colon and this one here. So now if I input my, I don't know, let's say uh, 74, and now your age is 74 years old. So perfect. Right, now that is one a uh, nice application. We have gone a step for, uh, forward from before because now we're able to take in user input. We're able to uh, have our, uh, we create an interactive program. Now, what I need here, what we need here is another thing, which is basically, how do I decide, you know, who's a minor and who's an adult? Because that's the purpose of the program. And, um, oh yeah, I can, by the way, I can here just add this is a minor. Uh, this is the a minor program. A minor program. Okay, so everybody knows that they're using this ultra famous program. Right now, exactly. Now my problem is okay. User is inputting his age. That's cool, and I'm able to print this guy's age out here. Now, how do I decide? And whenever you decide, you need some sort of a condition. And the classic condition we find in every programming language is the if. So how do I do that? Well, what is our condition? Well, the condition is like this. If you're 18 and above, you're obviously an adult. Otherwise, you are a minor. Now, obviously, you can take the logic in the opposite way, if you're, you know, if your age is below 18, then you're a minor. Otherwise, you're an adult. It doesn't matter how you take it. Let's let's take the first uh, the first way. So basically, if you're, let me just write it in English here. So that's where comments come in. Um, so if you're 18 and older, then you're an adult. Otherwise, you're a minor, right? So now let's program that. Well, if very simple. Now, when you use ifs in uh, in C, the condition has to be enclosed in parens. So if there's a paren. Now, what's the condition? Well, what what is what is what is if you're 18 and older? What does that mean? Well, that means user age. So user age. And user age is what is equal to eight uh, is sorry uh, greater or equal to oops greater or equal to eighteen that is eighteen and older and then what happens then well then uh, obviously you're an adult but let, let's hold on a second here uh, previously I showed you to instantiate a, a variable you could go like this user age equal to 15 and that equality sign here means you assign this is an assignment it's not like in math it's not equal that is not equal that what you do here with the equality sign user age is assigned at the value of 15 if I want to have equality equality is written like this in this case it means if user age is equal to 18 then whatever you see, that's a, that's, a, that's a very important point, especially for beginners, because if most beginners would start like this, and this means, oh, if user age, if, and then here, oh yeah, in here, assign 18 to user age. 
This is not what we want. We want to test if user age is equal to 18 and equality is double equals, whereas one equal is basically assigning a value to a variable. That, that's the difference. Very important. And uh, we don't need that. And here, what I need is greater or equal to 18 because that's what, what, what 18 and older means. Now, if uh, now let's 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 do uh, let's do the following. Um, well, what happens then? Well, then print um, while you're an adult with your uh, whatever years. So again, whatever that is basically a case for a placeholder with your uh, years. And then here I uh, insert the variable that I need for this placeholder, and that would be user age. Right, and semicolon. So I've done that. If user age greater or equal to 18, print, and so on. Now, uh, let me take this off. Now, this is this works if you're greater or old, uh, if you're older or equal to 18. If now I'm lucky here, I just need one statement uh, if that condition is true. What if I have multiple statements? Uh, well, then you'd have to use curly braces like here, and that would be like this. I could also write this equal function, uh, this uh, sorry, this if condition this way, uh, sorry, right, and then close that curly brace. So, uh, what's the matter with me today? Right, now here, I have now this block enclosed by those curly braces is executed if this condition is right. And in this block, I can have, you know, infinite number of statements, it doesn't matter. But if you're just having one statement, like in our case, you can just avoid that and just stick the statement next to the if or below. It doesn't matter. C doesn't care. Yeah. But remember, remember, I mean, I don't know if it's such a good form because if I in, in, in future add another statement, suppose, let's say if I say, if I print like this and... If I write this now, um, here the problem is this one does not get executed with the condition is true because this one gets executed anyways. Why? Because this block, this these two are not a block. What what get what's sorry what gets executed if this condition is true is just this statement. If I wish to have both statements. Um, um, get uh, executed if this condition is true then I would have to enclose them in curly braces uh, just the way I showed before i.e. Like, like this and this one gets tapped in the tabs don't matter they're just you know just a visual cue for you to know for you to know that uh, you know these belong in this block and this is the block now this is a block and this whole block gets executed if this condition is true all right so that's the that's the difference, and that's one 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 thing a lot of uh, people do uh, do wrong. That uh, they just initially, like in our case here, they just write one statement, and then you know so, I don't know, like in two years, they come up with the second statement and forget forget to enclose both in a in, in curly braces because only that gets executed. That always get executed, and if you've got like gazillions of uh, lines of code you know you're looking at why 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 you know until you notice oh, wait a minute their braces are missing anyways that's that now okay we've got we've got this part here if you're 18 and older then you're an adult otherwise you're a minor what is otherwise well otherwise is else and now uh, else else and then here i just add a second uh, print statement and that would be print um, uh, well, uh, O with your 
whatever years, so that's placeholder D, uh, whatever years you're still a minor. Okay, and semicolon. And that's it. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to add the variable. See, uh, user age. So now, what we have here is uh, we have, as before, typical uh, greeting, then please input your age. You input your age, and now the program branches. If you're, if you're older, if you're older or equal to 18, you get the, that statement. And if you're not, then you get this statement. And you see here, based on the comment, uh, which is initially a sort of a typical English statement, I converted that into uh, yeah into C into C code, and that is basically the job you have not only as a C programmer but basically just you know think it out, write it down exactly what you need the program to do, and then check out how you can do it by converting your English into code. Right, uh, program is done. Let's save that. Let's compile again. GCC. Uh, minus O, then ABC, and then components.c. So that's now compiled. Now let's execute. And so now we should get the greeting as before and the age. And right. So in here, hi there. This is the A minor program. Please input your age. So let's try, uh, I don't know, like 23. So you see, wow, you're an adult with 23 years old. Great, so let's execute it again. Now remember, I already compiled the program and I haven't changed anything in the source code, so I just can call it again without too much ado. And here again, hi there, this is the, this is the A minor program. Please input your age and let's put a, I don't know, 13. And now you see, oh, with your 13 years, you're still a minor. So basically now we have um, a decent application, which gives you different input depending on your age. And the video's gone way too long now. Uh, let's develop that program into a better program in the next video.